Hello and welcome to this week's intuitive astrological forecast. We're going to change things up and see how it goes. So please feel free to connect and leave your feedback with your likes, shares, and comments. Let's try some bite-sized daily cosmic connections to align us in the planetary energies as they move and flow. Look out for daily cosmic connections both here and on Facebook. Each day there will be a cosmic connection going into more detail about the day and its planetary aspects, the energies and areas of influence and how they may influence and affect us. So make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. If you're here for the healing, don't worry, that's coming soon and some changes will be happening there too. So join me as we look at this week's main energy movements and shifts and how they may present and manifest in the world around you. This week, we see the moon interacting with the three personal planets, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, activating this shift in retrograde energy that is coming towards the end of the week when Mercury stations direct. So Monday, we see the moon aligning with Venus in Leo. Venus, the planet of unconditional love and acceptance, the values we hold, and how we value things. Then we see on Wednesday, the moon aligning with Mercury in retrograde motion. Mercury is our planet of communication, the mind, our processing, and how we receive, process, and express messages. Thursday, we see the moon aligning with the sun to form the new moon in Virgo, the beginning of the next lunar cycle, allowing our inner and outer aspects of self to come into alignment. Friday, we see Mercury station direct, taking us down to five planets in retrograde motion. With Mercury sitting so close to this moon, this new moon, the alignment of the sun and the alignment of the sun and moon, this new moon in Virgo, it's going to influence this, um, it's going to influence this new moon. This connection of our inner aspect of our communication, processing, and expression, and then this shift into our outer communication, processing, and expression, while being under the influence of the new moon, is going to allow us to step into a new beginning of understanding as we come out of this Mercury retrograde. This Mercury retrograde has been in Virgo, which is Mercury's ruling planet, so it has been a very direct and strong and powerful retrograde season to bring us back into alignment with ourselves and how we act. These planetary alignments happening around this new moon are happening to help us to shift into these new changing energies and to guide us as we move forward through this week. So we see this alignment with Venus, this alignment with Venus, our heart space, in the sign of Leo, the sign of the self, allowing us to bravely open our hearts and give love unconditionally. Then we see this alignment with Mercury in retrograde motion in Virgo, this alignment with our inner expression of self. Then we have this alignment with the moon and the sun. So this alignment with our source, the alignment of inner and outer self in Virgo, the sign of logical, practical movement, the energy of getting things done, acting for the self. Saturday, we then see the moon aligned with Mars, the planet of action, drive, motivation, and the ways we turn up in our world and for ourselves, allowing us to shift into this new retrograde motion from a place of action as we are empowered in ourself on all levels. So we're going to sh see a shift in retrograde motion as all three of the personal planets stand direct by the end of the week, while all the other planets stand in retrograde motion. This shift in retrograde energy is going to anchor us in our personal selves as we dig into a deeper layer of inner exploration. The moon's movements aligning with these three personal planets and the sun, our source this week, acts as an activation that will anchor us in our being. These three planets have all been in retrograde motion within the last season, so their movements all direct as we move into the next season is an indication of this alignment we have within our personal self and the self that we show the world. The personal planets are closest to us 
here on earth and are said to influence the things that make us our own individual person. They are said to influence us on a personal level, so their influence on each of us is unique and to our own. The ways that we communicate, think, process, and express ourselves, Mercury, the, the love that we show and give, and the things that we value, Venus, our actions, what motivates us to act, and how we take those actions, is Mars. These all make up important parts of ourselves and influence how we are seen and understood by ourselves and others in the world. When these planets and energies are in alignment, we feel good about ourselves. We are focused and our thoughts, feelings, and actions are in alignment. We are acting for our personal self, from ourself. These planets travel close together through their movements, through the zodiac cycle together as well, supporting us in our movements forward. So the moon's movements through these energies, forming these alignments with this refreshing new moon in the middle, is really opening our energies up for change and renewal, allowing us to bring together our thoughts, our plans, and to take action. Making sure that we feel good about this process. Aligning with our heart to ensure that our actions are what we truly need and desire and trusting our intuition and feelings as they arise by knowing that it takes a whole process to commute and understand. As these planets all stand direct by the end of the week, whilst all the other planets stand in retrograde, it's going to shift us energetically into our strengths bringing to the surface those energies that lie deeper in our foundations, beliefs, and past actions. The influence of these planets over here that are all in retrograde motion. This shift is not to bring us down to another layer, layer or another level, but to allow us to release those trapped, compressed, destructive energies to the surface, allowing them to go so that we can see on a whole new level of clarity. As we learn about ourselves, we realize we hold more than we need, that we are able to shift and change on levels that were previously unknown. This shift of retrograde motion, this shift of direct energy and inner energy is going to be subtle because these planets are further away from us. They interact with us in different levels. They interact or act with us in more of our social and collective aspects. So our personal planets now stand direct, empowered by their journey through the underworld, empowering us to stand direct in ourselves. This week is a very powerful shift in energy that we can use during this time to initiate and activate our next plans, align our thoughts and clarity, prepare the actions that we are going to take, and make sure that we follow through with them. The new moon is a time of new beginnings, of planting those seeds of action that we're going to take. So these energies aligned within this new moon period are really going to make this new moon this week very powerful for those of us who are wanting to shift ourselves into a new direction empowering us to stand in our own empowering us to understand that we are individuals we are not like other people we need to work on what works with ourselves what energies align with ourselves work on the things that we need and really empower us to stand in ourselves for this is the last new moon before eclipse season starts and the energies get a bit more choppy to try and help us to cut ties and release and move forward. So taking time this new moon to plan your next steps forward can be a very powerful, not only for your direction, but energetically with where the planets stand. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick look into this week's energies and look forward to daily cosmic connections that will look into more detail of the moon's movements and these aspects. 
that occur as the moon moves through our zodiac. Until the next time, bye my friends.